Hello and welcome back, Leo. My name is Emily Gear. I'm a transformative energy healer and a multidimensional channel. And I'm here with your now bi-weekly messages. Um, if you have heard some of my other videos, I am doing half of the Zodiac one week and the next half the following week. So that's how it will go moving forward. There are no extended relationship reads this week just because I needed a little extra time for my other job. So do look for those in the future though, okay? And finally, if you find that you would like to do a private reading with me, you can do that at imemilygear.com. Go ahead and register um, or schedule your appointment there for readings, energy healing, Akashic Records work, um, all of the above at any given time. Um, I really basically customize all of my appointments with everyone. So, so you will get whatever you need. Um, you can also contact me that way as well. Again, I am emilygear.com. All right. So uh, without further discussion, let's get into your reading. I'm shuffling here for you for the next two weeks, please, for Leo. Leo for the next two weeks. Leo for the next two weeks, please. I've actually opened up the collective Akashic Records, so... Um, I don't always do that before my readings, but I decided to do it today. So we'll see if that changes anything. So we're starting here with the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. And um, there's something about that energy that feels really appropriate for you guys. Like I always experience Leos as really um, loving, energetic, magnanimous, joyful energies um, in general. I don't have a lot of like, you know, each zodiac sign has like the, the high octave and the lower octave. And I don't have a lot of low octave um, Leos in my life. So I'm super grateful to all of you, but I'm really feeling this energy of like um, enthusiasm. And I feel like you're starting some new, either project or new venture in your life. Like literally somebody's moving into a new house um, or a new job, something that's going to provide structure around them, whether it's literal physical structure of a home or the structure of um, sort of like uh, something that's providing you with a um, with resources to live, i.e. a job or providing you like structuring your day, something that's like a project or a job or something that you're taking on that's going to structure your time, your uh, attention, that kind of thing. And, and it's all very good stuff. It's all things that you're excited about. If you don't know about it yet, it's coming in. But these are the first cards out of the gate. So my thought is you probably are already aware of this. And this is just confirmation that um, that it's a positive movement. Um, we've also got the emperor coming up here. And I was just speaking of structure, not really thinking about this card. But, but it kind of echoes this sort of this four of wands here. And, and the, the kind of uh, combined message here is about how that structure is providing a, um, just like a harmonious tone to your life at this time. Um, we are moving into Virgo season. They're reminding me of that. And that does in some ways, actually, duh, of course, we're moving into Virgo season and Virgo provides a lot of structure, especially with your time, like your habitual actions, the things that you um, really dedicate yourself to, right? So um, I feel like there's harmonious energy flowing between you and um, the planetary energies, which are going to support your new beginnings in these kinds of areas, whether you're like reevaluating the way that you're eating, you're reevaluating the way that you're exercising, you're reevaluating your routines with work, when you're going to bed, when you're getting up, how you're driving to work. I, just like I'm seeing all these different scenarios where like, I feel like the, the feeling is like, okay, I wanna restart, I wanna refresh, refresh my life in some way. Um, in, there's some way that you may have been feeling stagnant and you're coming out of that though with this ace of wands showing up right here. This is that choice to um, to refresh that. So that doesn't seem very exciting, but what they're showing me is the bigger picture is that it's actually moving through your energy field as well. And so it's resetting your entire energy field to provide you a 
it, it makes you into the oak tree, right? I don't know if this is actually an oak tree, but they said oak tree. It makes you into the oak tree. It makes you into that strong, stable, um, grounded, they're saying magical individual. So I don't know anything about oak tree magic, but maybe look that up because they, they're pointing to oak tree as magic. There's a leadership, there's a sense of leadership here in some way, whether it's community or with just within your family, or maybe you're on YouTube, maybe you're on, you know, um, maybe you're a leader at your work or your job or in a, in a volunteering sort of situation. There is a real, I feel a real joy coming through whatever it is you're changing up or reevaluating. It's refreshing your energy in a way that's allowing a, a lot of joy to come in to your life. Um, this joy may have been eclipsed. I'm just looking at that eclipse. It may have been eclipsed in the recent past, just with a lot of like the, the upgrades and the changes, the energetic movements that you've been making. Um, but that is definitely changing now. Something is shifting for you. Let's see what else wants to come out for Leo. Okay. Sometimes I feel like in that first blurb, I actually cover all the bases of the entire reading and then I just spend the rest of the entire reading like repeating myself and this is one of those cases. Um, we've got the three of wands with the five of pentacles. And then we've got the 10 of wands here. So what I'm feeling from this is really that um, it's like you are breaking through um, to this new opportunity, to this new energy that of joy. Um, this is kind of a dynamic and stable structure, the triangle, but I feel like I feel like you've been looking for this hole in the veil almost like maybe some of you are literally have been literally looking for a spiritual breakthrough because you've felt shut out. Maybe others are experiencing, you know, either um, financial gains or, or spiritual gains, transitions, feeling a lot of joy, but you might've felt left out because the summer was really tough on a lot of people. Let's be honest. That was a very tough summer. And, um, and it's like, you've been feeling around in the dark, for this joy and you found like this this hole this portal that you can go through um or maybe you even ripped through it you had some kind of breakthrough or are having some kind of breakthrough in your life which somehow makes you feel part of the group and I'm feeling this on a spiritual level, but I also feel like this could be, be very practical where, you know, you move into a new community that's very accepting or you move into a new job who's, that's excited to have you. Um, or maybe you just renew your relationship with the people at your work or, the, or, or even your family in general, the, the larger family. You found that way in. You found that portal. You've um, found that tiny light in a dark room that gives you the entryway into this joy feeling. And the reality was it's been there all along. You didn't really even need to look for it. You didn't even really need, you know, the perception of the room is dark in general. It's just perception. It's only that. But this little portal was that way into really getting to anchor and ground. Um, this higher dimensional energy, this higher vibrational energy, whether that's joy or whether that's just peace. They kind of go hand in hand. Like there's a sense of joy when you are feeling that sense of peace. And there's a sense of peace when you're feeling joy. So they kind of go hand in hand in some way. I feel a little bit of, I just, just like a reprieve from the difficult energies. And that is that, this is that reprieve. This is that 
a releasing of the burden. Releasing of the burden. Um, some of you are worried about the effects that the release of this burden will have. Maybe for some of you, other people are tied to this burden or responsibilities are tied to this burden. Primarily, these burdens for you are energetic. Primarily, it's got to do with your own thought processes. I'm seeing like neurons, like entangled neurons in the brain. And so it's got to do with changing the way that you think about things. And it's got to do with changing your perception that you have somehow been locked out or somehow been not included or, you know, it's like I recently watched a video by Brene Brown, which I've seen a number of times, but I just posted again on my personal Facebook page because she says something like, as long as you're looking for ways that you don't belong, you will absolutely find them. And when you're doing that, you're the one keeping yourself in the state of not belonging. It's not about anyone else. So at that point, you know, we just really need to understand our own power of the situation. But that is kind of the energy of the past. You, you found this, this way through, this light, which was there all along, but it took this long to begin to accept it. And that, backing back up to the beginning of the reading, is giving you this new beginning, this harmonious new beginning uh, in your life. You're able to become the magic, the magical oak, oak. Magic came out in the Cancer reading as well yesterday. So it could be something about magic that's coming in now. Let's see what else wants to come out for Leo. What else for Leo, please? Was for Leo for the next two weeks. You know, they're making the connection between ritual and magic. I'm not saying go do ritual magic, but we are investigating and looking at and sort of reevaluating our own rituals, whether that be the way that we eat, the way that we work out, the way that um, we uh actually pray or meditate or any of our practices you know and it becomes a needed ritual to be in that place of peace that place of joy to make the choice to no longer move upon those same neural pathways that lead us to this negative these negative thought patterns okay so um i don't remember how that statement started or where i was going with that but uh they wanted me to to, to mention that um, okay, we've had this come up in readings last week, double sevens, the seven of cups with the seven of swords, what's that about? Okay, so, um, I got this feeling in one of the other readings, I don't remember which one when I saw this card and saw the eclipse, but I'm getting it again now that like, so we've got the moon here and the sun here, right? There was the solar eclipse. This doesn't actually match up with the picture, but this is what it's making me think about. Um, there was a solar eclipse on July 2nd. I believe there was another on Christmas day, like essentially, the dark side of the zodiac in the dead of winter and the bright side of the zodiac in the middle of summer. And in between those two dates, right? So basically the rest of the year, there is a lot of um, letting things fall into place. Decisions to be made, seven of cups, decisions to be made, allowing things to fall into place. Um, the seven of swords came out with it. And for me, it, it what, what this is basically saying is be sure that you are open to the possibilities. And the reason for that is that some things that appear light right now will actually turn out to be not so beneficial for you. It's other things that appear dark right now are potentially the pathway to healing and health for you. I keep 
like moving my glasses up. I, sorry, I keep making that face. I keep catching myself making that face. Um, so it's not that you're being tricked or deceived in any way, but there's something about seeing that the light is sometimes dark and the dark is sometimes light and the value in each of those things and always being open to the understanding that things always are changing and moving and they're not, it's not, life is not static. Just because something worked for you two months ago doesn't mean it's going to work for you later. Um, this is a transitional period for you where you are seeing what is working and what isn't, what is good for you, what isn't, what is serving you, what isn't, what is truth and what isn't within you, but also that reflecting itself externally. So take every cue externally when you're concerned about the truth or value or um, honesty of an external situation, where does that connect to you internally? And what is that reflecting back to you internally? All right. Especially for the next six months, even though this is a two-week read. I asked for clarification on that, and I got the Two of Swords with that same eclipsed sun with the Justice card. And so what I'm feeling is that this is like, this is a period of um, breaking, breaking boundaries that you had set maybe a long time ago because you were like, well, this worked for me once. We're going to keep doing that until all the wheels fucking fall off and we all die. You know, like you had made the choice that you're going to stick to this thing, but that's not life. You're, you're changing the balance in the way that you think. I'm getting a lot of really mental energy for you guys, this, um, this reading. You're changing the balance in the way that you think. And... Um, I feel like you're allowing in new beliefs in a way that maybe you hadn't before. Maybe you'd been very much stuck in your beliefs or, or thought that there was um, no reason to or maybe no, no, like maybe you felt that beliefs shouldn't shift or shouldn't change. And I think that that's changing for you. That belief is in itself is changing for you, that you're starting to see a more fluid nature in things and that. Um, that there's a pendulum type motion that can that can take place with the with the beliefs. Um, a lot of inner concepts getting reevaluated for Leo right now by by yourself, you know, by you. Um, and this is something that has needed to take place. Leo can have, um, and I want to say, you know an overactive ego, that's not really what I mean, but being ruled by the sun in the heart can make you very, very passionate about your convictions. And I think this is opening up that energy for you a little bit and maybe bringing in some um, some different energies, some mental energies, right, to help balance out with the Justice card and the Two of Swords, honestly, to balance out that heart energy. So you may be reevaluating mentally a lot of stuff. I keep repeating those phrases, but I'm trying to get the feeling of this out. And it's something about the mental pathways, the way that you literally think combined with changing beliefs. So beliefs are deeper than your thought process. They're, they're buried deeply in your subconscious versus your subconscious with the dark cat being versus the conscious mind with the light cat. So um, I, I do think there's a greater integration of this dark and light. This also to me is often subconscious. So a lot of indicators that there's subconscious belief systems coming up here, okay? And um, and it's breaking through those beliefs that allows you, that is that hole, that hole in the darkness, that like pathway, that like little tiny crack into that joy place, that, that peace. And realizing that, I wanna say, they're saying nothing is true. <laughs> I don't think they mean, they don't actually mean that, but it's like, there are different truths. There is truth that's subjective and then there's, there are great, the greatest truths. And those, one of those greatest truths are things like unity consciousness, that we are all one at some level. 
And I think it is that, you know, again, I, I say unity consciousness, I look at this and I see like a, a pathway into 5D, into the 5D and higher sort of dimensional uh, energies. And I feel like that is the gateway you're going through. You're getting out, of, you're dropping the burden of this, getting out of the restriction or the poorness of spirit that results from being locked into a belief system, being locked into, even if your belief system comes down to actual like, your brain works in a certain way, your brain chemistry, your neural pathways work in a certain way that have you locked into a diagnosis of depression. Those things can be broken open. It's a matter of choosing, a matter of choice. And it is a matter of tapping into the subconscious and, and clearing those beliefs. Now you can do that through things like, through working with people like me who are energy healers and I can go in there and, and um, ask creator essentially to alter the belief to be one that is in your highest and best good, right? But you can do that yourself too by simply choosing, I'm not doing this and then surrendering to that choice fully. All right, that surrender, here again, surrender, needs to be full and complete or it doesn't work. All right, um, we are at 20 minutes now, so we are over time. So I'm just gonna ask for some final thoughts. How about let's do this. What happens if Leo fully surrenders to this? Oh my God, of course, the fool. It goes right along with the way that we came out of the gate earlier with the Ace of Wands, this new beginning, this harmony and trust and stability, okay? The brand new chick here, just waiting to experience life, right? The sunrise, the sunrise of life. I feel like this is a sunrise. It's a new sunrise for you, which makes total sense if you're breaking out of these dark subconscious beliefs. And that's not because you're particularly dark, it's because this is being human. This is your ascension, this is what it is. And this is the next step in that, breaking out of the poverty of consciousness, the poverty of um, uh, our own limited belief systems, okay? Opening that up into everything that's possible, right? Three of wands, all the things that are possible into the 5D and higher, 5D and above, okay? I hope this has been helpful for you guys for the next two weeks, um, kind of cerebral, but um, just know that when these ideas come up, when these feelings come up, that you now have a plan, you know what to do, all right? Um, always a pleasure to see you guys, and again, if you would like to schedule uh, an individual appointment for yourself, you can do that on uh, my website, which is www.iamemilygear.com. And I will see you again in two weeks. Bye guys.